Bonjour, Mishko Pokanon Quang Edition Cosmondo Dem. Hi, everybody. It's Sandy Boucher here once again. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Seine River First Nation in Treaty 3 Territory in Northern Ontario. And holy moly's I've been busy. Not like the busy, scary, frantic, I don't know if I'm going to get this all done kind of busy, but the busy... I'm on top of my game and not wasting a minute kind of busy. And that's probably got a lot to do with the fact that I'm out of town next week. I have two public events, both of them out of town, both of them relating to the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. Tis a busy time of year for Indigenous speakers. And this morning, even though it's a Saturday... Uh, I was putting out all of the emails to my list, so you may not realize there's been a change. My email list, up until this week, if you were on my email list, you received an email daily. And it was a little tidbit, something for you to to consider. There was a related video, and I thought, you know, Five minutes out of your day fits into your schedule. What I didn't consider was how many emails we get on a regular basis every single day. And and for some people, it just proved to be too much. I'm not saying that they were not interested in learning. I'm saying that they were wise enough to recognize their burnout rate. So last week... I offered an option to my list and they could either stay on the daily list because some, I love the fact that so many of the people on my list start their day with my blog post, with something for them to consider. That is the dream result. That is what I hoped for for so many years. And this is a huge shout out to those people. I love ya. But the other people that are way too busy but wanting to continue learning, they now have an option of going on a weekly list. And actually, if you go to my website, sandyboucher.com, and sign up to be on the email list, you actually automatically go to the weekly list. Um, I say in each weekly email, if you'd rather be on the daily list, just hit reply and let me know. But... I assume people are busy and put them on the weekly list. That was a long, drawn-out way of me telling you, I'm not your mother's Indian, (laughs) which is the title of this episode. And it's just, sometimes I'm in absolute awe of the difference between my life and my mom's. Now, of course, we're different people. But I'm related, I'm speaking specifically to the indigenous experience. And this is going to sound bad, and please don't judge me for this, but I believe everything happens for a reason. I'm not sure my mom could have handled what I do for a living. My mom was born in 1927, and she was definitely that generation that was taught silence is safety. That to speak up, to complain, to say anything against the treatment of Indigenous peoples was literally dangerous. And of course, being an Indigenous woman just added a whole new level to the insanity. I think... If my mom was still alive, and of course, everything within me wishes my mom was still alive. But if she was still alive, I don't think she could read my blog posts or watch my videos. And not because I'm saying anything nasty, but because I'm not staying silent. And that's what I meant by I'm not your mom's Indian. or You're not your mother's Indian. Because... The indigenous people and the way they behaved in our parents' generation 
It's totally different from today. And I know there's people out there saying, can we go back to the good old days? Like when we didn't have to hear from all these different groups. And uh, the answer is no. Because the good old days were never good old days for the people in those groups. And that's why they're speaking up. The past only worked for a select few. And that's the select few that are feeling uncomfortable now. So... Like, there's such a big part of me that, you know, I, I say it all the time, how much I love my life. But I love that some things have changed. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of work left to do. We are in the preparation stage. We are nowhere near the reconciliation stage. When it comes to truth and reconciliation, it's actually truth and preparation and reconciliation. Uh, and we're in the preparation stage. And, but I love that there's so many speaking truth to power. I love that there's so many speaking truth. And I love that there's so many non-Indigenous people interested in not only hearing the truth, but truly understanding it or trying to understand it. I love the people on my list. I love my podcast audience. I love my email list. I love my YouTube viewers. I love the people that have read my books. I love the people that comes out to my seminars. Excuse me, seminars. Because Indigenous or non, you are my fuel. And yep, um... It would have made my mom nervous, but I think it would have made my mom proud. And that's why I do what I do, uh, to make the elders proud. As my mom used to say, the ancestors and the children are watch watching. Make them proud. My mom's an ancestor now, so was Nana, an elder that I lost just this year. And I know they're proud of me. And I know that thanks to their teachings, I do what I do with respect and caring. And I'm trying to build bridges. I'm not into attacks. I'm not into shame and guilt. When I call something out, it is because it needs to be called out. But I don't for a second ever take for granted the pure joy and responsibility that is the work I do. So thank you for coming out. Thank you for listening to my words. Thank you for understanding. And thank you for being okay with the fact that I'm not your mother's Indian. And I hope no one ever is. I hope we don't go backwards. I hope that never happens again. Because I work every single day to bring this country together. And together doesn't mean indigenous forced into silence yet again I lost my voice for so many years I'm not giving it back <laughs> even though it keeps cracking here I've done way too many videos this morning I hope that made sense thank you for coming out sorry for releasing this on a Saturday like I said I've been busy but I think of you every single day. If you have questions, send me an email, sandy at sandyboucher.com. Sandy with an I, by the way, or I was going to say you'd be accidentally emailing my sister-in-law, but <laughs> she doesn't have a website, so I guess she's okay. Um, send me an email. Contact me through my website. Go to my YouTube channel. Please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. There's a whole bunch of goodness that just waiting for you there. And if you want to get on my email list daily or weekly, the choice is yours. As long as you're choosing that we get to walk together, this Anishinaabe Kwe is just fine. Until next week, I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.